This is your girl Renee, and I uh, promise I will come back to you and let you know exactly what I was throwing down on this 4th of July. So, I'm hoping you guys are having a fabulous 4th of July and are about to throw down on some good cooking, too. So, this is what we're having for the 4th of July. I have some macaroni and cheese. I have some baked beans. I've got some barbecue chicken. we got some ribs. We got some hot links because you know that's how we do. We got to have them hot links in there. And um, I've got the, um, I made my own barbecue sauce. I put some Worcestershire sauce and Baby Ray's barbecue sauce that I always use to kind of spice it up and give it a little kick. And then over here, I have some cornbread muffin. I have some cabbage that I have from out of my garden. And then I have some sweet potatoes. And then for dessert, I have, um, I went and got a patty pie. Because after all this cooking, I probably wouldn't have time to make me a peach cobbler. But got me a patty pie. So that's for dessert. So let me see. My sweet potatoes are looking good. Let's stir them up and see. Oh, nice and delicious. I'm telling you. If you live close to me, you just come on over and have a 4th of July with me. And then I have my cabbage leaves. I know they look like collard greens, but they are actually cabbage leaves. Because remember that my head of my cabbage was not ready yet. So I just took off the leaves of the cabbage and I cooked them up. And then instead of having my cornbread in a skillet, I decided to put them in a little muffin pan little loaves and made some good old cornbread and then over here again the barbecue with the links somewhere I think these are hot links and then the ribs like I said with the Worcestershire sauce and the baby Ray's barbecue sauce and this macaroni and cheese oh my god this is my go-to dive in I love macaroni cheese. I could eat macaroni cheese 24-7. I love it that much. I put cubes of um, cheddar cheese in here, mozzarella cheese. I put some eggs, some milk, some pepper, a little bit of Creole seasoning in there to give it a little Cajun flair. And in my baked beans, I put in some steak. I got the brown sugar. I got the grilling baked beans. And I put a little vanilla in there to give it a nice little um, sweet extra bring out the sweetness if you never tried vanilla in your baked beans you should give it a try and I got some bell peppers and I have some onions in there as well all right guys hope you're having a wonderful 4th of July eating throwing down stay safe remember if you go into any functions make sure you have your mask on to other to protect yourself and also protect the other people around you all right guys love you and if you haven't subscribed to my channel give me a thumbs up to let me know you've enjoyed this video and also give me um any kind of comments on things that you would like to see in future videos and also don't forget to hit that notification bell to let you know when my next video will be uploading all right, remember, stay safe, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Happy 4th of July.